There are many reasons to consider the use of natural gas as a transportation fuel. One of the primary advantages in using natural gas vehicles is that they produce fewer emissions than conventional gasoline vehicles. Because of this, natural gas buses are widely used in municipal and private fleets, especially in areas where central fueling stations are readily available. Also, 87% of natural gas is domestically produced in the U.S. Natural gas is the product of organic matter that has decomposed in the absence of oxygen. Biological matter that died millions of years ago became trapped beneath layers of ice, sand, and silt. As more layers were added, along with intense geothermal heat and pressure, natural gas was formed. Natural gas is odorless, tasteless, and non-toxic. Natural gas is colorless and may not be visibly detected unless ignited. However, once ignited, it will burn with a pale blue flame that is nearly invisible in daylight. Like coal and oil, natural gas is a fossil fuel. Unlike other fossil fuels, natural gas is a clean burning fuel and emits lower levels of harmful byproducts into the air. Natural gas is typically found in coal beds and oil fields, but can also occur naturally on its own. Natural gas has been used as a cooking and heating fuel for centuries. However, many people do not realize that it is also a viable domestic vehicle fuel. There are two forms in which natural gas is used as a fuel for vehicles. Compressed natural gas, known as CNG, and liquefied natural gas, referred to as LNG. CNG is compressed and stored as a gas in high pressure tanks, which makes it a stable method of storage for containing natural gas over long periods of time. LNG is produced by cooling natural gas to a temperature below its boiling point, well below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. A liquid below this temperature is called a cryogenic, which means that it cannot and will not exist as a liquid at normal temperatures and pressures. It must be stored in double-walled, vacuum-insulated, low-pressure vessels called dewars. According to the Natural Gas Vehicle Coalition, there are about 112,000 natural gas vehicles on U.S. roads today, and more than 13 million worldwide. There are three types of natural gas vehicles, dedicated, bi-fuel, and dual fuel. Dedicated vehicles operate only on natural gas. Bi-fuel vehicles are designed with two separate fueling systems that allow them to operate on natural gas as well as conventional gasoline. Dual fuel vehicles are more common in the heavy duty market. These engines use natural gas as the main fuel and up to 10% diesel for ignition. Many conventional vehicles may be legally converted to operate on natural gas instead of gasoline using EPA approved conversion kits. Because of the differences in fuel storage from conventional vehicles, natural gas vehicles must have specialized tanks for storing fuel. Many of the natural gas vehicles on the roads today are found in large fleets, such as taxi cabs, transit and school buses, airport shuttles, construction vehicles, garbage trucks, and public works vehicles. Since these types of vehicles tend to have space and energy requirements that adequately accommodate the added tanks and LNG equipment. The majority of natural gas passenger vehicles operate on CNG. Presently, there are no light duty passenger vehicles available that operate on LNG, which is more popular for heavy duty fleets. There are also other benefits in expanding the use of natural gas to fuel vehicles for the betterment of human health and the environment, the economy, national energy security, and to help reduce the dependence on foreign oil. Compared with vehicles fueled by conventional gasoline or diesel, natural gas vehicles can produce significantly lower amounts of harmful emissions, such as particulate matter, carbon monoxide, and greenhouse gases. These emissions have been linked to the formation of smog. Smog can create or irritate existing cases of asthma, emphysema, and bronchitis. Burning fossil fuels has contributed to environmental issues such as global warming, smog, and acid rain. 
When compared with conventional diesel vehicles, natural gas vehicles may emit significantly fewer emissions of carbon monoxide, oxides of nitrogen, and hydrocarbons. The use of natural gas as a vehicle fuel can also reduce carbon dioxide emissions by up to 25% when compared to diesel exhaust, which in turn will decrease the effects humanity has on global warming. Natural gas, however, is the cleanest of all hydrocarbon fuels and therefore offers substantial environmental benefits. Most of the natural gas used in the U.S. is produced domestically. In most places where CNG is sold as a vehicle fuel, it costs less than gasoline. In the U.S., natural gas is typically at least $1 less per gasoline gallon equivalent when compared to conventional gasoline. With a network of pipelines in place and the ability to use the existing distribution network, there are minimal additional costs to expand the use of natural gas in transportation. This helps lessen the financial burden many states may face in building the necessary fueling infrastructure. Natural gas is much less utilized than other hydrocarbon fuels, making it significantly cheaper than coal or oil. The use of natural gas as a transportation fuel could alleviate some of the nation's dependence upon foreign oil and encourage energy independence. Harvesting methane from biogas produced from landfills, dairy waste, algae, and agricultural organic matter is currently being performed in several locations across the country. There are more than 500 landfills in the U.S. that are currently using biogas as an energy source for electricity production for use in boilers and furnaces, or for a vehicle fuel. Developments in natural gas production from waste materials help produce energy as well as nitrogen-rich fertilizer, creating use from previously wasted material. We encourage you to learn more about alternative fuels and petroleum reduction technologies by visiting www.naftc.wvu.edu slash Clean Cities Learning Program.